but I want to keep my eyes on the ground and just see what's going on. You never know. And it's always fun. Now this is a male. And unfortunately, he must have been getting frisky with this female and he flipped himself over. What's going on in there? I want to stick my hand in there on account. I don't know if there's any snakes in here. Um, this is an area I rarely bring you guys. This is, you know, we're back here in the back section of the camp. You never know what interesting things will be hiding. Hey, what's going on everyone? We just had a nice rain here and it's a fun time to come out and explore because the turtles like to come out and explore. This is a Geoclemys Hamiltoni or the Indian Spotted Turtle. These guys are awesome, man. They're found throughout Pakistan and Northern India and they actually live in different streams and mountain rivers and lakes and so on, which have cooler water that come down from the Himalayas. So they can take some cooler temps as they are from Northern India. Really beautiful species and I love watching them walk around here. Um, as you know, last year, if you've been following the channel for a long time, we had a raccoon attack and uh, they got some of my Hamiltoni, which was such a bummer. And uh, man, I'm looking for some males. I gotta get some boys back in here because right now I have a bunch of females and here's another gal right here. She's just hiding out right here. Beautiful little girl right here. Let's see if I can grab her. Oh, I got her. Oh, careful love. There she is. Just a beautiful species. And they start out as very attractive little babies, but they do like to wander around on land. This one, uh, however, is gonna whoop, right back into the water, no problem. Uh, so I just wanna walk around and kind of check on everyone because it's a fun thing to do when it rains. You never know what you're gonna find. Uh, so let's get moving. Let's go head over to the other section of Sophia's Pond. And I don't know, man. It's just a fun thing to do. This lady finger palms are growing up, these Chinese lady fingers. And what's this? It's a radiated tortoise. Haven't found any radiated tortoise eggs or any of them that have hatched lately. So that's kind of a bummer. I love finding babies. I did, however, find some babies of the Asian box turtles. This one's just burrowing into this nice bit of Thaxahatchee grass. They love to do that. There's a different microclimate in there. That's what all these animals love to find. And that's why after a rain, the humidity goes up and it's more comfortable for those guys to move around. Um, I just noticed we have a flipped over radiated tortoise. Look at how beautiful this pond is looking. Awesome. Every once in a while, I'll find some baby uh, Reeves turtles in here. So it's just a lot of fun to get out and do this. Now, this is a male. And unfortunately, he must have been getting frisky with this female and he flipped himself over. So I'm always here to help. Uh, it's always a lot of work. You got to be on, on the game here, making sure the animals are okay and safe. Let's go through these banana plants here. We got another little female hide in there. I like to get into the nooks and crannies of the enclosures because you never know what's living in here. I've seen some basilisks in here. Uh, I've been seeing more and more basilisks over the last couple of years up here in northern Palm Beach County. Usually they were found a little bit further south, but they're moving on up. So we've got basilisks, curly tail lizards, all kinds of fun stuff. Of course we have our cactus. Just throw some of this out for these kids. They'll find it and nibble on it. It's always fun to do. Let's see. I want to go back over here because you, I just like to explore. We got poops. Where there's poops, there's turtles. Now look at this. This looks like a baby turtle could get in there. And this is actually an area where I have a ball valve so I can drain the pond when I need to really quickly. But I'm going to check in here because it's very possible <clears throat> that there is someone stuck in there. So let's just have a look. Um, hopefully there's no one in there. Let's see. All right. I don't see anybody. There's nobody here. I don't know. I wonder if they could walk back out. That seems like a pretty intense journey to walk back out on. Here's that ball valve. Let's see, dig around in here. I'm not finding any turtles burrowed in. Okay, but what's this? Look at that. It's a little eggshell. That could be from a lizard or a snake. That's pretty cool. Maybe it's a basilisk eggshell right there. 
pretty neat. So, okay, let's put this back on. I just like to show you guys the daily stuff that I like to do around here to keep things going, keep things interesting. Flip this back over, place this back over here. I'll just block that a little bit better. You see, I blocked it a little bit better anyway. This one goes here, and this one comes here, and then looks pretty good. All right, we're gonna keep moving. I love it. Do you guys like exploring? Uh, if you had a yard like this, or maybe you do have a yard where you can explore, it's a lot of fun to do. So I advise you to get on out there and look around because you never know what interesting things will be hiding in the grasses here or anywhere reptiles can be found. Love it. No one there. Yeah, not much happening. But we've got a lot of ground to cover. Let's just do that one little 360 here back over by the other pond. But I like to check for babies. So important, especially after a rain. You can find these little babies. You guys have seen it before. We found radiated in here. We find the Asian box turtles. Like I said, a lot of different species. Also like to come over here and just grab some of the debris and move it. And so this will pump a lot faster. There we go. And this is a really great little stream that little baby turtles will be drawn to because it's shallow and it doesn't move that fast. Here's another Asian box turtle there. It would be so cool to find babies just really enjoying this habitat. Sometimes we open this too. Hey, there's a turtle in there. Another Asian box right there. How many? Just one. Look at that. But you know what? You oh! No, it was poop. I got excited. I thought it was a baby turtle. Oh, man. Just give it a good, good looking. Nothing. Some beetles cover you back up. All right. Oh, I got that. There's a nail sticking out. Oh, that nail got my back. That hurt. Youch. Oh, sorry. Slipped out of my hands. I did see a basilisk over here a little while ago. I wonder if it's still around. We got mangoes falling down. Oh. Nothing. All right, let's keep going. Ready to eat our fluker tortoise diet. They got a little soggy in the rain, but they don't mind. They just kind of nibble away at it. Always look along fence lines because sometimes the babies will head to the fence and then walk along it. But I don't think we have anything going there. Let's go see the elongateds because that's a cool enclosure. And every once in a while, I miss one of their eggs and you find a baby in the enclosure. Here they are. Like I said, just got done raining. We fed earlier today. And so everyone's out and about, which is really, really cool. I love this species. These guys are just fantastic. Hardy, hardy animals. These guys' story, it's kind of an interesting story about this particular group. These guys were actually taken out of, oh, there's a little, tick if i can get it these guys were actually taken out of new york city's chinatown they were in food markets and uh the gentleman who got them bought them all and he kind of saved them um these guys were imported uh for the food market out of vietnam in the 90s so they came in as adults in the 90s and um, they were rescued and in fact, you know, he had them for many years and then I acquired them in uh, 2010. And I love this species because they are hardy, they stay small, they have beautiful babies. And uh, my gosh, you know, it's really cool, but I don't think I'm gonna get that tick. I don't think that's gonna happen. So the tick will just have to fall off. As long as the tortoise isn't like completely covered in ticks, um, it will be fine. Here's Lumpy, hey buddy. We almost lost Lumpy a long time ago. And we've got them all dialed in. I hear other human beings. Are my, are my family out? Yep, it's Kate. Kate's out there and about. She must be on the phone or something. She's just yapping. Here's some more. These guys have been loving their little, how, their little um, swamp area here. But we're gonna go over to this little swampy area. We got some bamboo that's falling down. Okay, there and there. But I want to keep my eyes on the ground 
and just see what's going on and see you never know and it's always fun i like to hang out oh look at this how cool every nook and cranny has a place where they can hide this is a palmetto and uh they hide in those little kind of voids at the bottom of the trunks so you can only imagine i mean look at this place you can imagine it's easy to miss a little baby my gosh oh my gosh i think i need to i need to do something about this fence holy smokes it's rotted out of the post we got to get that sorted asap this is another reason why i come here and check on everything so i need yeah look at that see what happens is these posts they rot out so i'm gonna have to reattach this somehow so i've got some work to do friends because we can't have anyone getting out so it's important again when you have a big farm i think i have a medium-sized farm it's not that huge so it's definitely manageable but there's always something that needs doing so i'll probably get a longer um screw and get it in there look at this i wonder what's going on in there i wouldn't stick my hand in there on account i don't know if there's any snakes in here but i would like to dig this up and uh kind of see if there's anything in it at some point hmm would it be wise i don't know let's see what's in there what's in there i'm gonna peek in let's have a peek i'm gonna put you guys down and i'm gonna get my phone and i'm gonna shine some light there's a lot of ants in there i can tell you that much let's see we get some light on this situation in here. Nope, nothing. I don't see anything. I don't know. What is that? I don't think it's anything that I need to see. Gosh, nothing. But we are on a cool exploration. I'm trying to shut this light off. Good, got it. Okay. Just a little check in this section. No one's living over here any longer. But over here is actually where most of the eggs are laid. And I'm not seeing any babies today. Such a bumper. All right. But I do want to show you and give you an update on the snake necks. They are doing awesome. Uh, let's go see them. They're so cool. I'm really excited I got these guys because they're so unique and I can't wait for them to go in the front ponds when they get bigger. But you can see, I'm going to grab one out and we'll have a look at one of the snake neck turtles that we set up in this a few weeks back. And look at the lily pads are growing, which is nice. Very good situation there. Do we have anyone hiding in here? There we do. There it is. Did I miss him? Holy smokes, I missed. Let me grab it. I'm chasing it around in a circle. Here it is. Got it. What a cool little turtle. Look at that. This is one of the eight that are living in here. Seabin Rock Snake Neck Turtles, such a cool species. Shell's getting harder. They're eating shrimp, the Fluker River shrimp that I have. Um, they're eating the Fluker pellets. Really, really cool scenario here. These guys are amazing. Uh, they're also the only, uh, th this species in a lot of the South, um, southern hemisphere turtles have this intragular scoot isn't that cool it's uh really unique it's one of the only turtles found with that the snake necks and some of the uh some of the side necks found south of the equator in australasia so uh very cool i love it this is a unique animal what do you guys think do you like the snake neck are you excited to see these guys grow i think it's going to be really cool to have a group of these guys living out front because they're voracious feeders they love fish and invertebrates and uh they're just going to do awesome so there you go there it goes right down and there's eight of them in here that's a lot it's a lot of snake necks up oh, they're plopping out there these guys are doing well Let's keep it moving. Oh, look at the blue. Look at it. Look at that guy hanging out up here. Looking good, looking good. And there's the male. Very, very good. Gonna go on in here because we have these Chinese box turtles and it's possible that there are some eggs in here. 
possible some babies came out. And the thing with Chinese box turtles, friends, is Chinese box turtles are a little bit uh, cannibalistic. They'll eat babies. So you want to get in here and really check uh, because they won't last long if they hatch and the adults find them. They will get eaten. So that would be a bummer because these are a cute endangered little species. How cute. Look at that guy. That is awesome. That is awesome. But I'm not seeing, hmm, not seeing any babies here either. Oh well, what you gonna do? Keep moving on. I don't mind it. I love walking around my yard. It's a good spot. I have a fun time here. But I think what we should do is head on over to the big pond and walk around that perimeter and just check and make sure things are looking good over there because you never know what's hanging there of course cayman creek is doing well and the big gators were out today which was super fantastic uh, it was awesome seeing snaggletooth kind of hanging out slinky's doing well and um, i will have some new things going on here very soon we're going to get some new members to the camp there's dale we're gonna have some new members hey dale there's a big girl there's a big girl She's right out there. You see her, guys? Um, yeah, so we're going to have some new animals coming. A couple of lizards and some more tortoise species are going to be coming to the camp, which I'm excited about. Oh, speaking of out, how about it? Here's our guy. Hey, big fella. Hey there, big fella. He's out getting the sunbathing. Getting the sunbathing on. He's big, ain't he, guys? That is a big boy. I love the snags such a cool animal let's go visit him let's see what he does if i come if i can go in there and see how close he'll let me in there usually uh these guys were fed yesterday and usually when they hear the oh there's a basilisk there's a basilisk see it that's a little basilisk oh it's going in there with the crocs the gators all right that's cool so what was i saying oh yeah usually when they hear this thing move oh look 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 see see he's moving he thinks he's gonna get fed which is a bummer because I don't want to feed them. I just kind of wanted to hang out with them. But uh, I guess we're not going to do that. It really makes no sense to go in there. Um, and let's see if we can get him over here. Here, watch this, guys. Here he comes. Big boy coming through. Yeah, come on over here, Snaggy. And then, of course, there's Dale. But Snaggy's pretty darn impressive. Um, you see him coming up. You know, you know not to trifle with him. I love that he's in this uh, beautiful enclosure he's got the nice mud he's super happy come on boy come on here comes dale come on lady dale get up here so they know um they know that call they love that call oh you're just gonna wait right there are you come on snaggy snaggletooth see he knows his name snaggletooth come on snaggletooth he knows his name, people. This is what's so cool. Come on, Snaggy. You're the wrong one. You're Dale. Hi, Dale. How you doing? How you doing, good looking girl? She's beautiful, man. And the pond's filled up. We had some rain. It's filling up now. That's so cool. We just need a little bit more. I want it to be at the uh, top of this thing. So anyway, there are the gators. Snaggletooth. Come on up, Snaggletooth. Snaggy, Snaggy, Snaggy. No? All right. They also are smart enough to know when I have the yellow bucket. If I have the yellow bucket, that usually means food's coming. And the other thing I notice is when I have friends stop over, when they hear other voices and my voice and then um, some other people with me, that is also an indicator that they're most likely going to get fed because people love to see them eat. And so when people visit, they get to see that. Um, so, okay. We're hanging out over here now. Let's see what we got. Um, this is an area I rarely bring you guys. This is, you know, we're back here in the back section of the camp. A lot of cypress knots. I used to be able to come in here and mow, but there's no reason to any longer. There's no grass is growing because these cypress have grown up nicely. So this is an area, I mean, I still have a lot of land that I can do things with. Of course, this is the big pond. We're in the back side of it. We've got the gator snappers are in here and we've got just different uh the different species of turtles hanging out and of course because it rained because it rained 
the Asian wood turtles, the giant Asian wood turtles, the, are out walking around. Here's a couple of females, and over here is a male. So he's walking around. So cool. Thank you. But yeah, I, I kind of was looking at this and all these tussocks of grass. I may get in here and it's good for me to walk around right now. And I may get in here and mow because um, I like to keep things mowed down so I can see things better. Um, the the grandest will come out and as you can see, they eat some of this grass and then they don't like the taste of other grass. So it's, it's kind of interesting. So I'll just get in here and whack these down, no problem, and uh, keep things going. So let's see what's over here. This is kind of a cool area. Now, when it floods, this is the perfect area for the gator snappers to kind of hide in. They love to jam up underneath things like this. Um, and that's kind of what they do. They become part of the scenery, leave that mouth open, and then nail any fish that swim by. Uh, that's what they like to do. But, uh, oh my gosh, guys, no babies today. Um, what are you gonna do? At least we did get to see a few other turtles, which is kind of nice. And we took a walk around an area that we don't normally see here at the old, on the old videos, but you can see I got some land. There's things we can do here. And as you know, things will get done because we've got great friends and great partners that help us out here at Camp Cannon. And uh, of course, one of the greatest is Aquascape, and I'm going to be going to Pondemonium this year. I will not be at Animal Con because I committed to doing Aquascape's Pondemonium, and I really want to make sure I honor that commitment because those guys have really helped me out in a major, major way by building me all these fantastic habitats for my animals, which you guys got to see a few of them today. So I will be in Chicago. Go to aquascapeinc.com and uh, you'll be able to find out the dates of Pondemonium is the last weekend in August of 2022. So why don't you guys get down there, come say hello to me, I'll be there, uh, and it'll be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, until the next time, friends, if you are lonely and you wanna watch more videos, why don't you go ahead and check out the rest of the videos we have on this channel. We've been at it for a long time. We appreciate each and every one of you stopping by to check it out. This is what I do day after day, after day, after day. It's not bad, it's not bad life, right? Yeah, that's what you do day after day. You sunbathe, you eat, and you make babies. It's a good life, people. Get out there and enjoy the outdoors. I'll talk to you all again real soon. So long.